and it's it's also wow. part of an economy, which is maybe more yeah. like up to a, a like a mm. contemporary discussion of, of economy than a service or a commodity mm. or goods in that sense. I don't know what you think about it. I think that most of my services are activated uh, like uh, infringements. It's not you can't see it. You know, it's like the waiter that is. Uh, this one is maybe the last one with the public. This is why maybe you're right. It's like you can sell it as experimentation. Yeah, okay, it's not an exhibition. Let's have uh, experimentations in the in the museum or something like that. You're right, but maybe. Most of my services, are, are, you can't see it. It happens, but you don't know what hap what's happening. But because you I don't speak about you, it. You experience something weird, yeah. and that's why you go there. Right? Yes, but nobody yeah, but knows it. It's uh, uh, three months ago. I was uh, activating service. Uh, uh, the name is um, uh, Replique en français. It's merde uh, English. <laughs> remakes. So I was remaking something, but nobody was knowing what I was remaking. It's like it was a few you. And with the mediation, mediation uh, team, you know that here, and, uh, we were talking about a, a few you, so it was complicated. They, 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 <laughs> they, was, they were presenting a few you, but in fact it wasn't, etc. But nobody. No, you know that now, because we speak about <laughs> it. Yeah, but we are far away from uh, less mm -hmm. in France. But now I think the strategy is to appear, but we don't know where. It has to be absolutely invisual, indetectable, to keep the, the artist absolutely free. You know? I think that's the way today to work. In what way free? Thing because uh, you do what you, whatever you want. Yes, but what if I want to make an object? <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah. Of course. But uh, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> yes, but I feel like uh, when you say like um, like destroying like the object from like taking them away from the institution, it's like kind of like mm. the whole like uh, concept of your project. I feel it's like dealing with the art like the way like um, as a commodity. Mm -hmm. as a, like a spectacle in society like everyone goes to museum because they want to see this artist and like it kind of becomes uh, yeah it becomes commodity it becomes something a product mm -hmm. of an artist with a name with like uh, mm -hmm. which you pay for a lot like a lot of dinner and a lot of money for me i don't know i feel like when you say no no more place for object art is no more place for this art that is like you know uh, uh, making market move like like uh, you know and uh, move me where? Uh, no no where? I'm very bad in English now. Uh, like um, keep uh, uh, keeps the art market alive like uh, highly priced like uh, keeping mm. art as commodity no? you think that kind of works no 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 no, no. Uh, I feel push like the market I feel like somewhere like else yeah, I feel like you try to do that, but then again, you like earn money in the same market. So, like also, this kind of art becomes commodity. Like day, you, you course. sell something that is invisible. Like uh, you cannot even like see it. It's just a memory. So it's like maybe even more dangerous to make this kind of art that will earn. No, I don't think so. I don't know. No, I think this kind of art is a way to to be free in what you you want to do. Uh, but it's difficult to explain it in, uh, in English uh, because you, you can do whatever you want uh, without sound uh, of rien à personne. Can I say something? Yes, sir. Uh, well, How uh, we uh, preserve the historical uh, monuments and historical objects, historical uh, art objects, okay? And there's a, uh, every every uh, material object has a timeline, and uh, that's the way it get destroyed. And as in like preser preservation theory and all, we try to keep them alive again and again. And there is also a future object keep generating okay with the time. So uh, I 
at the time it's like a museum is full, full of the art objects. Mm -hmm. As we are uh, every day collecting new art objects. Okay. So I think it's quite uh, uh, making sense uh, when uh, some historical monuments or historical object is getting uh, destroyed. Uh, let it be. And at the time we should also consume new uh, objects mm -hmm. uh, which is generating at the time. Okay, because uh, over a, over on a uh, kind of discussion, we cannot uh, stop to producing object. In future, of course, uh, there will be object. Okay, uh, will produce. Uh, how 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 you think these things like preservation and uh, rather we destroy historical things, but not destroy. Let it be destroyed. I yeah. think I think that we could destroy history. It's what I think. I think yes, we can, of course. We can destroy the Jokun because it's very old and we know it, everybody knows it. It does not have to, to stay like a relic, you know, or, or a fetish. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can move and change, of course, I think we can destroy. Uh, but it depends on the way you do it. If it's, uh, for example, a, a terroristic uh, way of doing it, or if it's uh, uh, there was a case in Norway with a uh, black metal, you know? They were burning the church. Mm. <coughs> the uh, historical yeah. church yeah, yeah. from the past, etc. Very old, uh, fashion, very strict. So it's, it's hard, I think. But, I don't know. For me, it's not a problem. So, no, so basically, the whole uh, preservation thing is highly questionable. Excuse me? Whole preservation thing is uh, questionable, right? Mm -hmm. If we want to preserve, and what I preserve, and what uh, we should uh, give, give priority, I don't know. But yeah, the question of preservation, I think, is, is important. The, 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 what we, we have to avoid is uh, the, the feti fetishism question. It's the, it's when something begins to be, I don't know, like uh, this is horrible. I think. When you see uh, the, the work of Buss, Joseph Buss. Uh, his work was like activity and stuff. And now what you see is a uh, relic. It's crazy because it's like a silly. And I think he is responsible for that because there were all that object that he was using, uh, the blackboard, the, the, the rabbit, you know, and he was preparing somewhere. And I think artists today have to to finish with all of that. No relics, no it's uh, in, in the mind I think. All has to happen. And sometimes uh, on the screen but it is green, right? <laughs> yeah. To promote uh, ideas. No I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I just you you kind of like you propose uh, the end of something that uh, was perpetuated by modern artists or modernity. But in a way, your speech is very modern. It's very, uh, let's finish this. Yeah, yeah, no more time right, for this. I, I agree. Uh, it's a uh, nice <laughs> style, dogmatic stick, mm. uh, uh, avant garde. Mm. Yeah, but in France, it's good, I think. Because we have to. We were in, uh, in the 90s, we were uh, suffering from uh, the concept that everything was possible. You can do whatever you want because everything is possible. You can make uh, realistic uh, things or uh, sculptures like that or medieval, medieval art, mm -hmm. whatever you want. It's no problem because everything is possible. So we thought that uh, at the turning of the 2000, we thought that it was interesting to back again to the avant-garde style. That is not possible, that is possible. You know, it's like uh, big uh, fractures. That's interesting, it's like a style, I think. But you can, your frame of work kind of enters the postmodernity. I don't with, think so. With a moder modern uh, speech or discourse. <coughs> Ah yes, that, that could be the category in the postmodernist, the category I'm modernist just thinking you might be misunderstood uh, if you, uh, hmm? you might I'm just thinking you might be misunderstood when talking like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I 
I don't know. I think I'm really uh, influenced by uh, conceptual art. But I think that conceptual art was maybe uh, too cerebral. And the idea I like is how to uh, embody, how to uh, do something with concepts, but very practically, in a practical way. This is what I like, and that's all. Maybe it's postmodern. But in France, you have to, to, to speak like that, because uh, if you don't, uh, it's too soft, you know. Everybody is soft in Paris. So everything is soft, everybody is soft. It's like a, a symphony of light in the city. But uh, how about this, like, that you're repeating the same concept, like, over and over again? Isn't it, like, in vain kind of thing? Because, like, it's the same as you say you don't want to do a performance because when you think of performance, is already done, no? But mm. it's also like this, like, destroying objects over and over again. Isn't it enough, like, just to destroy it once? and show the concept and see if this is it and like... No, I like very much the idea to, to, to do something in time, in really a long time. Mm. I think it's very different. Uh, to have an idea and you do it once and then it's finished, you know. Yeah, because... You take another project, you know, I don't... I like very much the various <coughs> variations. Mm. Yes, yes, I understand that, but uh, it's just like as, as art, like as conceptual art. Like, uh, I don't know, does it make sense to repeat it? And that's why it's different from conceptual art. Yeah, yeah, it's really different. Uh, the, the, the big difference is that conceptual art is working with language, but language in exhibitions. Uh, for example, exhibit, exhibiting words, or sentences, or words, words, I don't know. And, uh, and here it's very different because we leave the, the idea. And you can say that out. You don't leave the, the idea. You have a, a sentence. For example, uh, it's pure language. Uh, at the beginning, Laurence Wiener was uh, wanted to, to make sculptures using the language. He does a sculpture in his uh, studio and then he breaks the sculpture transform it, you turn it into a language, and then with the, lang with the language you can make a sculpture. Yeah. The idea of the sculpture that was is captured in the language, and then using the language you can rebuild the sculpture. Yeah. That was the idea of the yeah. But time passed, and then uh, it was more easy for him to present sentences. And when you see the Laurence Vignard today, it's always sentences on the walls. So it's not interesting at all. It's like poetry. And for us, I mean in Paris and, and ailleurs or somewhere else, the idea is to leave the concepts uh, in pra practical terms. Since the object is dead, isn't it a lot more radical to do objects nowadays than this It could be, <laughs> of course. But you're right in the, in the sense that presenting that 10 years ago, it was very problematic. And today, it's, it's, I have the impression it's like, uh, okay, we know it already. So maybe you're right. We have to come back now, but I will not come back to <laughs> You will. Action is uh, changing your life. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Changing the relation you have uh, with, uh, to your life. Uh, and with an object, it's difficult. Uh, that was the idea of situations. Change life with uh, art. Uh, Let's make situations. Hmm? Make, make situations. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's really interesting. Construct uh, the situations. Uh, as art in the daily life, it's very interesting. And uh, I was uh, quoting uh, Phil you, uh, of course, <coughs> the sentence uh, using art uh, to, to, um, to uh, transform life in uh, something more interesting than art. Than art. 
difficult to translate, yes. excuse me. Using art to uh, make such, yeah, art more makes interesting than art. Point <laughs> I will to be tired. Yes. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're in an exhibition situation, what can you do? Nothing. It's like, uh, but uh, still, uh, art will be uh, produced through kind of through kind of agencies like entertainment uh, institution, okay, like film. Okay, it will be, it yeah, goes yeah. on. So, uh, and that case, uh, I don't know how uh, how we can uh, apply these things into that. And cinema, other uh, entertainment industry like uh, product designing, for instance, people, uh, like uh, fashion. People, of course, will uh, wear the clothes in future. Is Do you have uh, immaterial uh, wor works here in uh, Oslo? Is there a, a scene for that kind of uh, artworks? I mean, uh, from performance to happening, uh, as in by. Uh, non, il n'y a pas de. Si, que ton invisible. Yeah, yeah, of course. Exactly. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you.